Hi, this is Imran Bikri. Today we are going to design a tall building by using a ETAP software. This is a problem statement given by the SkyFi Labs, which is having the different winds and column properties and having a wind load consideration parameter which is having a Bangalore location. The building is having a 23 number of stories, each having a 3 meter in height. The first define the material property. We already defined 3 material M40 H5 refined and mile to 50. Then define the section property, the frame section which we define a beam at a select option which is having 3 different sizes of beam. Similarly, we already defined a 3 column which is having different in size. Auto select option is selected because ETAB will select the economical and safe column or a beam. Then define a slab section properties. The slab of 150mm is defined which is having an M40 grade of concrete. Then draw the columns and beams. We selected here a quick draw option to draw the columns and beams and also the slab sections are added respectively. Then add an auto cladding option around the building. Then add the restraints to the model which is fixed restraints or fixed joint we selected at the base. Then it is a time to add the different load for the shells which is dead load and live load and load on cladding etc. You can see the load pattern which we added, a dead load, live load and wind load. Wind load is added according to IS875-2015. The wind speed is selected 33. For this we have to refer, refer the IS codebook. You can see the, our region is a Bangalore which is having a wind, basic wind speed of 33 meter per second. All the parameters are selected from the IS codebook, codebook respectively. Okay, then go to the display option to know the different loads which is added on a building. We added a load of 0.2 kN per meter on the cladding. Then similarly for a shell load, the dead load which is added, then live load which is for the different for a different set of stories. You can see. Okay, likewise, uh, wind load which is successfully added on the exterior side of the building according to IS code book. Then run the analysis. Analysis is going on. After defining and assigning the load, we have to analyze the building. Okay, the analyze part is completed. You can see our model how it looks. It is selected in a displacement mode, which is having a dead load. We can also generate the animation how it animate according uh, for the dead load. You can see the, how our building animate or how it displaces. Then go to display menu for obtaining the different shapes and also for the different stresses parameter okay, the frame shell stresses or forces shell forces we can generate here for different load cases and also the combination of different loads similarly uh, we can generate the bending moment and a shear force diagram for that Go to display menu. Then here forces or stress. Frame. Okay, here you can generate the bending moment diagram. Just right click on a member to get the shear force and a bending moment of respective member. Then start designing your building. Okay, before that we have to select IS456 for the concrete design then start design oh. finally our building is designed successfully you can see the re reinforcement details okay then verify all member all concrete frame pass till design check okay then we have to start the detailing this is the reinforcement details of beams and columns you can also generate a project report this is how we can generate our project report all the properties which we assigned are mentioned in the report all all details are mentioned like story wise columns load load patterns etc 
then mm, we have another report which is summary report here also you can get a uh, required data in a summarized way okay this is a detail detailing part you can see the detailing options for uh, for the each beams etc all the naming also generated automatically this is a floor framing plan for the story 23 okay this is a all the properties are mentioned we can also use view the render of the column section here this is how the column will look like all the render view we can easily access from this menu this is very good part to know how the reinforcement will be done okay now we can also get the schedule for the beams and column this is the schedule table this is for the column concrete column schedule you can see all the details with respect to the stories and okay here and this is how we can generate all our data like report reinforcement details etc this is a very good software and having a good experience while designing this building thank you